Hey family, welcome back. So today's question of the day is how do I create intimacy in my relationship? Stay tuned. All right, family, thanks so much for coming back. So depending on what platform you are watching this on, I absolutely appreciate you on my fan page, which is Facebook fan page or my YouTube channel, Thank you so much for coming back and showing this channel so much support. I am absolutely in awe that my channel is continuously growing, so thank you. The second thing that I want to mention is to make sure that you check out my online courses. Depending on where you're at in your relationship, a lot of us need some help, and this is what my channel is here for, but I want to extend the help beyond the channel. That way, it is a structured system where you know what you need to do week by week week so I have a program for my single ladies I have a program for my ladies that are in the dating stages and a final program for my ladies that are in a long-term relationship or a marriage you might need to boost up your relationship navigate through those dating stages or just to understand exactly who you are before you get into a relationship before you start dating which is for my single people now I have 10 remedies or 10 ways for you to increase the intimacy within your relationship. So the very first one I actually talked about in another video, which is to give each other massages. Yes, this is a very sensual act. It is a very creative way, a way to just turn on the music, a way to just relax. I, I said turn on the music, but <laughs> what I meant to say is turn on the music, create the mood, set the tone, Give yourself a way to maybe um, use some oils or some lotion or something and just relax the person. You do not need to be a massage therapist to give your partner a massage. You basically just letting them relax and make them feel good. And you also will be able to release some of those endorphins and feel good about yourself, but also feel good that you are getting service by your partner, by your spouse, by your husband, by your wife. So give each other massages. With those massages actually moves into another sensual loving area, which is the area of sex. A lot of people forget about sex. A lot of people forget about sex. There are a, there are a lot of sexless relationships. They are. And sexless usually means about 10 times per year. That's less than one time a month. So having sex can be a way to create intimacy in your life. Do not forget to connect with your partner via sex. Do not let the children get in the way. Do not let get do not let work get in the way. Do not let the new goals get in the way. Have sex with your partner. Create this intimacy. Create the mood. A way to move out of massages into sex. That is a great segue. That's all I'm saying. So that's number two. Have some of that sex, okay? The third thing that you can do is super, 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 super simple. A lot of people just don't do it, which is to hold hands with your mate. If you follow my channel for any time, you know that I've talked about my parents before and I love to just see them sitting on the couch just holding hands. They're doing nothing. They're just in the same room. They're watching a movie, but they're holding hands sitting on the couch. Of course, when they go out and about, they're holding hands, but I really love to see them holding hands when they're just doing nothing sitting on the couch. That is so cute to me. The fourth thing that you can do to create intimacy is to give a really deep hug. A lot of us just give a hug and a and move on with our life, whether we're, you know, need, needing to leave or we're going to the restroom, whatever it is, right? But hold on to your partner for a period of time, literally for at least five minutes just there holding your partner, smelling their aura, breathing where your your you guys um breath will start to synchronize your hearts will start to synchronize just hold on to your partner for a lot longer and start to rub on them a little bit like this is their back right so you rub it on their back a little bit maybe even take it a little bit further and rub on their little booty <laughs> but i'm just saying make it so they know that you really 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 are happy to be with them you're happy in this moment and you are loving all of them you're taking them all in completely with all of your senses maybe you want to want make maybe you even want to taste them via kissing they neck or something or licking on your neck i'm just saying boo you got to keep that intimacy up in your relationship so deep hugging the next one is for my fellas uh snuggling 
a lot of us really like to snuggle as far as the ladies go. So if you are not a snuggler, snuggle with your boo. Again, this is a segue that could lead to sex. But keep in mind, we women do not just go from walking in the door to ready to screw. We don't do that. You got to be all up in here with us. So if you have been priming her all day, like you've been sending her messages to say what you want to do or how you can't wait to hold her, how you can't wait to kiss on her and all this other stuff. And so when you get there, do a little snuggle just to hold her tight. That's amping up the intimacy. Start to do a little bit of rubbing on her. And guess what? You ain't got to worry about sex because that is the next step, boo. That's the next step. She, she already ready because women start up in here, all up in our heads. <laughs> So by the time you actually touch her, we ready. 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 <laughs> the next thing that you do is make a date to have no plans at all. Make a date to spend some quality time with your partner, but in that date, y'all have no plans at all. So you do whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to cook, cook. But if you don't, don't. If you guys want to just lay on the couch all day, then lay on the couch all day. Y'all want to do a movie marathon, do a movie marathon. But make the date just so you guys can spend quality time together. And then on that particular date, don't have any plans at all. Just to be in one another's space, to be in one another's company. Even if you decide to talk all day, do that. Cut the cell phones off. Cut all, of, cut all of technology off so you can spend some real quality time with your boo. Bring that intimacy level all the way up again because we all get busy in our lives. And trying to do this every day is just not something that is feasible for most of us. It's not. So when you do have the time to increase this intimacy, i.e. by spending quality time with your partner, absolutely make it all about your partner. Doesn't matter what y'all doing, because y'all are there for each other. Y'all doing it with each other. Y'all doing it for each other. Y'all doing it to make sure that the relationship lives and thrives on. Next way to increase the intimacy in the relationship is to let go of your expectations of what your partner should and should not be doing. A lot of us think about other people's relationships, and then we want to apply those things into our relationship. That is not necessarily the way that it could work. Could it work out? Yes, it could. But that doesn't mean that what works in one relationship is going to work in your relationship. So get rid of the expectations about whatever it is you think a relationship should be like and work on building your relationship the way that you want it to be built the way that you and your partner want it to be built. because Just because there's something that you want to bring to the table does not mean that your partner is going to be receptive to it. So let go, throw away, get rid of all of those expectations that you have and you will build the intimacy within your relationship because then you'll be able to go with the flow a lot better within your relationship and not be so ticked off and mad when things don't go the way you think that they should be going. The next thing is to focus on giving as much love as you can. See, a lot of times we don't give love at the same time. It is not equal in the relationship for whatever reason. There are reasons why the person's mind might not be there. Their body might physically be there, but their mind is somewhere else. So still give as much love as you can. Now, I mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it here, which is if you are focusing on your partner, making sure that your partner is happy and their partner is focusing on you and making sure that you are happy, then how can your relationship crumble and fall? Because you, you're you not worried about the outside forces, the outside riffraff, the, the jealousy, the haters. You're not worried about any of them. You are making your world about you and your partner. So focus on giving as much love as you possibly can and you will absolutely increase the intimacy within your relationship. The next way to create intimacy in your relationship is to stay in bed all day long with the exception of eating and using the restroom, right? Stay in bed all day doing nothing. Talk, snuggle. You can do a lot of these things that I was talking about. Talk, snuggle, snuggle, massages, all of those things. Just stay in bed all day and make it a day about y'all to doing absolutely nothing. Make this, like you can make this another date so you can plan to stay in bed. Let somebody else 
babysit or take care of the children for you so you can have this time, that QT I was talking about, that quality time with you and your partner. Just stay in bed all day and do whatever it is that y'all want to do with each other all day. No, this is not the day that you clean up the house. This is not the day you do those forever no ending dishes or that forever pile of laundry. This ain't the day for that. This is the day you just stay in bed all day and do nothing with your partner. That's it. The last thing is something that I really could say that most people probably just don't do. And <laughs> there might be a reason for this, but I'm going to put it on here anyway, which is to take a bubble bath together or maybe you can take a shower together. I personally love baths and um, yeah, so I personally love baths, but some people just don't like baths. I mean, like, why wouldn't they like baths? But whatever, I'm going to move on from that. If you are a shower person, then do the shower, but do it together. Make it hot and steamy. And some of all of this other stuff can absolutely come to play as well. But this will increase your intimacy. You guys are washing away all of their worries, all of the stress, and just making sure that they are relaxing. So they're making sure that you are relaxing. You're making sure that they're relaxing. And who knows where this shower scene can go, okay? <laughs> So hopefully you have liked these 10 ways to increase the intimacy within your relationship. What is something that you do to create the intimacy in your relationship? Of course, my audience wants to know. The subscribers want to know. My followers want to know. Depending on what platform you're watching it on, absolutely put those down in the comment section below because I would love to know, right? I don't have all the answers. I have some answers, but I don't have all the answers. And then you might have something that is very creative for me to incorporate into my own relationship as well. We are all teaching one another. Absolutely give me thumbs up or a like, depending on which platform you are watching me on. Of course, hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face if you are on YouTube. And of course, again, if you hit, hit the like button on my fan page, that it also follows as well. So definitely do that. I absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much. I will see you again tomorrow. We are not done with this. We're not done with this vlogging every single day for the month of March. We are almost there, but we're not done yet. So come back tomorrow. Okay? Deuces.